You're watching Greater Brockton. I'm your host, Mark Lindy, and I have a good friend of mine here, Jack Colombo, a good musician, Mark, fine thank musician. Thank you. It's really good to be here. Yeah. Thank you so much. Well, I've always enjoyed everything you've done, and uh, I was lucky enough with my, my team mm -hmm. to be at the St. Patrick's Day Mass in Brockton, yep. and you were leading the group. It was you, a great event. It was a great it event. Really was. It's always an uplift. It's the event that I've done the most of in my cable career because I started in 1983 doing the first mass I that I ever did. I never knew that. Okay. Yeah. And then I met you along the way right. as you were doing some great things to help promote music and arts in the city of mm -hmm. Brockton. Mm -hmm. You have a music school. I do. Over in Easton. Correct? Southeast School of Southeast Music. Southeast School of Music. Yes, sir. And uh, it kind of runs in the family because you and I were having a conversation at the St. Mm -hmm. Patrick's Day Mass and I heard, correct me if I'm wrong, your daughter. Mm -hmm. Tell me her name again. Tori Colombo. Tori Colombo mm -hmm. is following in your footsteps. She is. She is. Tori is, um, attends the Hancock Elementary School in Brockton. She's a fifth grader, mm -hmm. 10 years old. And uh, she's been f performing along with me at these events, uh, yeah. playing drums and percussion. So wow. we're proud of her. Wow. I, I did music from fourth through eighth grade. And what did you play? First trumpet. I was pretty good, except I decided I could not handle the rigors of Vincent Macrina. Oh, really? I admire him immensely. Uh -huh. My son did four years at Brockton High uh -huh. in different bands, all mm -hmm. sorts of different bands. But I didn't want to get up at 8 o'clock in the morning and be in the marching band. I, so I, I was kind of I lazy. I wanted to sleep that. a little extra. Mm -hmm. I worked a lot of jobs mm -hmm. when I was in high school. Mm -hmm. And I wish I hadn't gone down that path. I yeah. wish I had stayed with it because look at 45 years later what Vinny has accomplished and what the music program at Brockton amazing. High has done. It's and he's amazing. getting Absolutely. ready to retire yep. at the end of this year and it'll be a loss. But there are others in his footsteps that mm -hmm. have followed. But the students are the most impressive. You watch these students. You go. Um, I have a friend of mine. His son is in the West Middle School Band. Mm -hmm. And you watch the development of the middle school as a few extra years. You and I went to junior high. It was only two years. Mm -hmm. Now it's like uh, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth, something like that. Right. Okay. It's uh, six, seven, eight. Yeah. And, yep. um, you know, they get all of the foundations and everything. Right, they do. There. They, 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 Brockton offers an incredible education in the arts. You know, they really do. But you know, ten years old—that's that—that's amazing. So she's part of a band mm -hmm. for a big event that mm -hmm. you're coordinating down in not too far from Brockton, right, at the Zyterian Theater, which is a wonderful venue. Great venue. in New Bedford. In New Bedford. So tell us about it. I know it's April 27th, but let's talk about what, well, what's Mark, going on. Well, Mark, we there. do this event every year, mm -hmm. and it's actually produced by a very, very good friend of mine in the industry, Todd Baptista, who's from Westport. Todd is a musical uh, music historian. He's written a lot of books, and he has a deep passion for the oldies rock and roll mm -hmm. groups from the 50s and the 60s. So every year we do this event, and this year we have four national recording groups performing. Mm -hmm. And um, I music uh, direct the event and arrange and play keyboards. And I have a group of musicians along with me that perform on stage. And we back these groups up. Now, one of them was here last summer at Pro Prova. Mm. Prova. Okay. It was Charlie Thomas's Drifters. Yes. And from what I saw in the paper and what I heard with the buzz on Facebook and social media, People really enjoyed we that. We had a one. great time. Yeah. Yeah. Charlie Thomas is an original drifter. You know, there are always four drifters. He was one of the lead singers. He's been a drifter since 1959. Wow. You know, along with Benny King and, mm -hmm. you know, Ellsbury Hobbs and Doc Green. So, you know, when you hear under the boardwalk and up on the roof, save the last dance for me, you know, he's on him. So wow. he's the real deal. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. And uh, there are, three other groups mm -hmm. so first one we were going over before yeah. you the next one after the the trolley thomas's drifters is the the passions yep Tell uh me featuring about lead singer jimmy gallagher they had hits back in the day and um just to be with you and i only want you with their two biggest hits okay so. and then the third group is the times now they had an interesting career. They they started out in the fifties and then they had some hits in the seventies. So in the fifties, um, so much in love, which mm -hmm. is a very very popular song, wonderful wonderful, um, along with a few others, 
Then in the 70s, um, when soul and R&B, you know, started uh, developing even further, they had a hit with um, so much in, no, not that I just said that, um, Miss Grace and Little Trustmaker. Okay. Yeah, those charted um, in the top 40 as well. Hmm. And you know what? Music lives on. It's kind of the background of our lives, if you really think about it. Television is so much music in the background. It Drama really shows, it really comedies, it everything. Really is, yeah. um, some, and, and music can bring you back to good times, bad times, sad times, happy times, all sorts of stuff it, like yeah. that. Um, my joke in life is life is you know set to music. You know, look at soap operas, and they have all this music in the background. That's true. Soap opera. That's there aren't true. too many soap operas left on TV. Right. So right. the other group that we were talking about was the Dell Satins, and I remember them for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm not quite sure yeah, why, because well, we you brought some of the different musical groups to to Brockton on mm -hmm. ten years ago, fifteen right. years ago. Twenty. Right. You've been doing this yourself for mm -hmm. quite a time. Yeah, I've been um, playing in the oldies circuit. Um, probably 21 years, 22 years now. Mm -hmm. So um, uh, I used to be one of the music directors for the Vocal Group Hall of Fame okay. out of Pennsylvania, so I played with a lot of groups out of there from that era, 50s, 60s, and 70s. Um, we had the Shirley Alston Reeves of the Shirelles. We ha uh, she was in Brockton at Campanelli, actually at the Shaw Center. Right, um, right. But maybe 12, 13 years ago, I believe, yeah. We had her as well. We need a Zaitarian in Brockton. That be really do. We really Wouldn't need a performing arts center. I absolutely agree with that. We're hoping, and this isn't definitive yet, but at Southeastern Regional, we're talking about a performing arts center, a small one. Okay, we have to That's get wonderful. the funding for it. We That's set up a wonderful. foundation, mm -hmm. and we're working on doing that because mm -hmm. we've brought music to Southeastern. We didn't have music at a vocational school before. We didn't have drama there, and we didn't right. have video production there. Now we do. That's so great. we get kids that they might be able to do a trade and then also play an instrument. How long has a, that been in, implemented? Within the last couple of years. That's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We're, we're working on it. That's and, really great. Because I think music is the other part of education. I truly do. And, and when the cuts get made in schools and mm -hmm. stuff like that, mm -hmm. luckily Brockton has had the foresight. Easton's had the foresight. That's Foxborough. Right. That's right. I worked in Foxborough mm -hmm. for nine years. Mm -hmm. Steve Massey was over there right. at the time. And... Um, my favorite things to do to record here is something to do with music. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you do good music. So we have Thank one you. minute left. Okay. We're going to give out the Zaitarian. It's www, and I'm going to spell it, Z-E-I-T-E-R-I-O-N dot org. That's mm -hmm. the website to find right. out about this. And there's a good old-fashioned phone number, 508-994-2900. We hope to see you there. I hope I can go. It's going to be a great show. Thanks, Jack. Thank you thanks for the for opportunity, doing what you, Mark. What you're doing. Thank you. Back and at uh, you. congratulate your daughter. I hope to do it in person. All right. Thank okay? you so much. Thank you. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.